Are you too flexible to row? Let's talk about it. What's up guys, Austin back with another rowing video. And in today's video, I want to talk about our feet, our seat, and just rowing flexibility. And the main thing I want to tackle today is this idea of the seat slamming into our heels as you come up to take the rowing stroke. Now for some people, and I've mainly experienced this with female clients, have so much flexibility in their legs that as they row, their seat comes up and claps into the heels at the top of the rowing stroke. And when this happens, we're actually over compressing the rowing stroke. You see, the optimal leg compression that we're looking for while rowing is this idea of shins to vertical. So the bottom part of our leg coming parallel to gravity. So if I was to do that, if I came for the rowing stroke, it'd be about right here. That's the optimal compression. But for some of us that are really flexible, if we're just shooting ourselves up the slide, we can over compress and get too much leg bend, which is actually gonna result in less power than that optimal shins to vertical position. So I want you to think for a moment, are you somebody who, while you're rowing, your seat is sliding all the way up and hitting your heels each rowing stroke that you do? If that's the case, well, we need to fix something. And it's actually a really easy fix. It actually has to do with our foot placement on the foot plates. You see, getting compression and your shins to vertical when rowing mainly has to do with flexibility in your ankles. But we can manipulate ankle flexibility a bit by sliding our foot plates up or down. So if you're somebody who has a lot of ankle flexibility, again, this idea of over compressing each rowing stroke that you take, well, we need to make that a bit more of a challenge on your ankles by lowering your foot plates down. So take a look at where the foot strap is going across your foot. Generally, we want that across the balls of our foot or the widest part of your shoe. But if your strap is somewhere around the middle portion of your foot and you're over compressing, well, that's your problem right there. Your feet are too high up because the higher up our foot plates are, the less ankle flexibility we need in order to get full compression for the rowing stroke. So what you need to do is you need to drop your foot plates down. So the general rule of thumb here is the more flexible that you are, the lower your foot plates should be. So check your foot placement. Make sure that we've got the strap going again across the ball of your foot or around the widest part of your shoe. Dropping your foot placement one or two notches, you might be able to feel a huge difference in the load that you feel in your legs with each rowing stroke. This is gonna help you to prevent over compressing with your legs and allow you to get maximal load, maximum tension in those quads as you drive your legs for each stroke you take. So even if your rowing form is top notch, guys, we gotta be aware of our foot placement in order to get the most optimal rowing stroke that we can. If this talk about foot placement, moving the foot plates up or down was at all interesting, well guys, I cover all of this and more in my brand new beginner's guide rowing ebook, Row Your Fat Off, the ultimate guide to help you use the rowing machine to achieve your fat loss goals. I've got an entire month's workout plan lined out for you to help kickstart your journey to using the rowing machine to achieve your fat loss goals. Especially if you're brand new to rowing, you really have no idea where to start, you don't know the technique very well, you wanna learn some drills, some warm ups, cool down stretches, guys, I cover it all. So if you're looking to pick that up, you can find it down in the description box down below. But guys, I hope this video could shed a little more light into understanding your foot placement and how that affects your rowing. So give that small adjustment a try and see how it feels and let me know what you think down in the comments below and also leave some suggestions for future videos as well. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys again real soon.